What's the difference between a preamp's line output and the actual output of the preamp? I think that's a great question. It's from Diego in Bilbao. Wherever the heck, where the heck is Bilbao? Very, sounds exotic. I don't know. <clears throat> hey, Paul, I'd like to know which transformations are done in a preamp to the signal from a line out to the pre out apart from volume attenuation. If the preamp were at maxed volume, the signal would be the same as the line out. What would happen if I connect a line out to a power amp? Okay, that's a great question, as I said. So, line out is essentially a buffered output that comes before the volume control. And I'll explain that in a sec, because that you might think, well, that's obvious, but maybe it's not. And then the preamp output is following the volume and the balance control, so that as you turn the volume up and down, the preamp out, which is feeding the power amp input, turns the level up and down. So years ago, <coughs> we had something that some of you may not even know what the hell is, <laughs> a tape recorder, right? A cassette deck, a, a reel-to-reel, -reel, whatever. We had, we had tape recorders, and we used to have what's called um, line-in, uh, tape-in, tape-out. And that was essentially, the tape-out was essentially the same thing as line, that's become line-out. And you didn't want the volume control affecting the recording level. And so what we did when we designed a preamp is we simply tapped before the volume control, which back then used to be a pot, a potentiometer. And then of course you'd have a balance control potentiometer out there as well. So technically, well, let, let's back up a little bit. Technically, a preamp is a, a, a series of inputs a source selector, whether it's electronic or click, click, click. So you're choosing one of those sources and then a volume control and perhaps a line stage or something afterwards to amplify the signal. So if we just look at it that simply, right after the selector, the input selector, if we just tap off that point before it goes to the volume control and put that over to a set of outputs, that's a line out. Now most companies, including PS Audio, buffer the line out so that whatever is being connected to the line out doesn't come back and interact with the preamp. So it's isolated. But um, that's essentially it. So it's just, it's, it's a buffered output before the volume control. Now, what happens if you plug that directly into a power amp? Well, if the power amp has a volume control, no problem. If it doesn't, it's going to be loud as hell. <laughs> that's basically that's basically it. So I hope that answers your question. Um, since the last time we were here, which was going on two weeks now, yeah, I think I'd, I think two weeks ago I, I spent another Sunday uh, doing videos, and and here we are again. But but look at the if you can see over here the tomatoes. I've got look at uh, the last time they were about here, and in two weeks they've grown. This one here is above the uh, things, and I love tomatoes. Ooh, yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. so I can't wait. This, there's a big honking tomato right there. I don't know what kind, that's a black keem, whatever that is, and uh, uh, what is that? Well, I can't, it looks like a, a communist, <laughs> but probably not. So, you see, I, I, without my glasses, I can't see squat. Anyway, enough on tomatoes. Got squash growing over here. Looking, looking pretty good in the McGowan garden. Um, thanks for the question about line out. I'll talk to you tomorrow, or, or maybe Chris. If I, I, I've been working with Chris Brunhaber to try and get him integrated into the Ask Paul series. And, and I'm gonna set up a thing that says Ask Chris, so you can ask specific speaker-related questions to, to Chris Brunhaber, our, our resident speaker genius. All right, so I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow, but I'll certainly see you in a day or so, okay. Take it easy. Bye.